Hello, and welcome to another edition of This Talk Live. Today, we're going to look at Ben Jones's winning sports contest entry and go over how this viz was made. First off, congratulations again to Ben for his win. He visualized sports droughts across North American professional sports teams, including which franchises have gone on the longest without a championship, as well as which cities have been waiting the longest for a sports championship of any kind. We've also got a map that shows whether or not cities have ever won a championship and roughly how long since their last win. Three main views here, each with one interesting point to pay attention to. So let's go ahead and get started and rebuild this viz, starting with a new sheet. Let's use Show Me. First, let's visualize the drought by each team. We know we want to view team, league, and number of seasons without a championship. So let's go ahead and select those fields. Show Me recommends a bar chart, so let's go ahead and use that. First, let's reorganize the bars. We don't really want to break apart each of the different teams by according to the league that they're in, so let's switch the order by dragging league over to the right-hand side of team. We'll sort the teams. And now, let's color the bars by whether or not they've ever won a championship by dragging this to color. There are two last formatting things we can do to make this viz look even better. Ben had the number of seasons actually labeled at the end of each bar, and we can do that by easily dragging seasons without a championship onto the label shelf. If you also want to remove these kind of grid lines like Ben did, simply open up the format menu, select borders, and then under row divider, set pane and header to none. This removes some of the lines and will give this viz just a little bit more space and visual clarity. Next, let's do the map. Double click on city to have Tableau populate the map with every city in our data set. However, right now we're giving each city a dot on our map, but it's entirely possible for one city to actually have multiple teams, such as Chicago. So what we need to do is add team to the level of detail shelf. This tells Tableau to break it apart even further. Now we want to color and size each of these marks. So we'll put the number of seasons they've gone without a championship onto size and the field have they ever won onto color. In general, it's always recommended to set some transparency on your marks, particularly when they overlap like this. You can do that by simply clicking on the color, moving the transparency slider just a little bit over, and you'll get this nice transparency effect. If you want Ben's gray map, simply choose it from the map options in the drop-down menu. Now, for the last view. This one is a little tricky, and you'll see why. We want to showcase each city as well as how long they've gone on without a championship, regardless of team and whether or not they've ever won. Right now, however, we're actually showcasing how many total seasons they've gone without a championship for each individual team and summing them up, and you can see this here. This is because our data, and correctly so, goes down all the way to each individual team and doesn't stop at the city. What we need is some data that shows for each city how long they've gone without a championship, not each team. Ben has this data, and you may have seen this other data set in our window right here, and he combined it with the original data set with a cool trick called data blending. Let's give this a shot. This time, let's bring out metropolitan area. It's identical to city, but you'll see why we're going to use it instead. Now, when I select the second data set, you'll see that metropolitan area has a link symbol next to it. This means Tableau recognizes there is a data field that links the two data sets, and now we can blend the information between them. So let's go ahead and now visualize seasons without winning, and color the bar by have they ever won. Now this is exactly what we want to see. Feel free to add seasons back to the label shelf if you'd like to have the number be listed. And now we have the exact sheet that Ben created. Now let's go ahead and throw all these different sheets onto our dashboard. 
The last thing we'll want to do is add some quick filters. And we can easily do that by selecting the sheet that has the field we want to filter by. In this case, the seasons without wins by team. We'll select the drop down carrot in the upper hand corner, go to quick filters, and then choose the field we want to filter by. In this case, team. You can change the filter style by clicking on the carrot in the filter and then selecting a filter type. Ben went with a drop down menu. Because we're working with a pre-made workbook, the filter is already set to be global and will affect the entire dashboard. If we need to change this, simply just choose Make Local from the filter menu. We can do the same thing for a league filter if we wanted. And that's how Ben made his winning viz. You can find his live viz in the description below, where you can download it and try making it for yourself which we highly encourage you to do. Do you have a viz for VizTalk? Whether it's something you would like us to discuss or have us walk through how to build, simply send it to us at social at